Hello and welcome to another Popper video. I'm Kelly Kais and today we're playing Mardu Gates. This is the Boros Gates deck plus Tithing or Boros Synthesizer deck plus Tithing Blade plus Basilisk Gate. So we're turning our Novice Inspectors and our Thraven Inspectors into huge destructive wind conditions with our Basilisk Gate. So joining me today is Alan uh, who is a Patreon subscriber. He is going to come along for the ride. He picked out this deck as part of uh, Patreon for the awesome and appreciated support. So thank you for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me. So what do you like about this deck? What 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 enticed you to want to play a mid-range style deck like this? Um, I, I like, I'm curious about the, the Tithing Blade and how it, how it works with uh, this deck. Um, I've always liked Caw Gates um, and I like variants on Caw Gates. And I like, I like, uh, I watched your video on the Boros uh, uh, and I like the, the Boros colors um, and yeah, I'm just curious how this deck's going to go. Yeah, so this deck is super value oriented because you've got your eight novice inspectors, which is the new hotness package in Popper. You've got Glenhawk and Core Sky Fisher to pick up probably the best target of Experimental Synthesizer, which... If you Glenhawk back a synthesizer, that's white red draw two cards, which is kind of busted. Mm -hmm. And then you have Lembus for a little bit of card selection and life gain. And then of course Guy Fisher and Glenhawk can both pick up Tithing Blade, which is enters the battlefield, each opponent sacrifices a creature. You can craft with creature, just exile the artifact and a creature or art, creature card you control or from your graveyard, return it transformed, which is like drains out your opponent eventually. Plus you've got your eight bolt removal spell slash burn which is the lightning bolt and galvanic blast and makeshift munitions to close the game You've got omen of the dead as the value engine to pick up with the core sky fisher to make sure your core sky fishers never go away but the main thing of the deck is your basilisk gate here which uh taps and adds toughness and power to your creature based on the number of gates you have so it's a good way to close the game as opposed to the all the glitters package and this can just be the win condition in your main deck which is similar to the boros glitters deck in that you're just saying oh i have this value creature now it's a monster that you have to deal with but you can put it on your one one and it taps for mana so you can just use it at some point it's a bit slower than just like slapping it on a creature but we have a lot mm -hmm. more value going on right so the tithing blade is just going to be like extra ways to get removal spells on your opponent really sweet card as well and i really liked playing the white black tithing blade deck so this is kind of a neat uh little mid middle of the road in the sideboard here we've got two standard bearer for gates uh bogles elves maybe even all the glitters decks or clerics for you know life gain uh, artifacts graveyard hate it's a nice really nice all rounded card and then for mm -hmm. red blast the reason red blast is here is because some decks might be bringing in standard bearer against you which says if you're choosing targets you have to target a flag bearer which means you could not pyroblast a creature it would have to pyroblast a standard bearer since pyroblast doesn't target it can target something that's not blue, but Red Blast has to target a blue thing, so it doesn't have to target, or can't target the standard bearer and gets around it. And then there's some Gorilla Shamans here to deal with mana bases from Affinity, and three Relic of Progenitus to deal with a uh, graveyard combo or style decks like Terror. But it can come in a little bit against things like Ron or Fog or Flicker if you think that that's going to be something fitting in, but I wouldn't necessarily make it your main plan. So before we get in, this video is brought to us by CardMarket.com. You can check out that website because they're the largest seller of Magic the Gathering cards in Europe. And if you want to build a battle box and include this deck, definitely check out cardmarket.com. Got to reiterate that if you want to hop onto the Patreon, there's sideboard guides, uh, deck donation options, coaching and video sessions like this that are all options on the Patreon. And make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this deck. I'll make sure to let Lost on Kato know that we played it and... Uh, He'll scroll around looking for your questions to answer them, maybe. And check out Pondering Popper, which is a podcast that I've been doing. Uh, I'm focusing on more of the spiky-oriented uh, part of Popper, not necessarily like how to get into, into it, but like going deep on specific topics. So that's pretty fun, too. So without further ado, let's get into the matches. All right. We're oh, God. We're here in round one versus Cyberpunker. Let's mulligan. We have uh, Basil Skate as our only land. We have multiple lands, all the colors. Seems pretty good. So I wonder if we want to put back the land. We have 22 lands in the deck. I we put back the land or the Novice Inspector. Well, I'm going to be a little bit safe and put back the Novice Inspector here and just see what happens. So Cliffgate, I definitely want to put on white, I think, to start. Our opponent's on 
Burn. Just straight up land chain lightning go. <laughs> okay. Cliff gate will play white and pass the turn. So our only life gain in the main deck is Lembus, which is not necessarily great. They go land pass. <sighs> I don't really want a Thraven Inspector, but I will do it. Because I want to be able to play the card off the top, off the experimental synthesizer. And I need to lead on the land here. I think I'm seeing your other screen. So they go bolt and bolt. We're at 11. They're passing the turn. Uh, Okay. We're at 11. They have played a lot of burn on us. Let's synthesizer. I can see a card off that. Find a Lembus. So I'm definitely going to play that out and i don't think i'm going to attack in case they have a haste creature don't necessarily need the bolt at the moment so no attacks because if they play a haste creature i just want to block like he was reading your mind <laughs> i've been pretty good at that lately like picking out their yeah. plays let's crack this lembus and then play the ancient den let's pass the turn i guess i'm looking to just galvanic this i wanted to pick up the synthesizer but i think we should wait I probably shouldn't have played the Ancient Den. I probably should have played the Citadel Gate, actually. That would have made a lot more sense because I just wasted this uh, mana here. And their creature's dead. Play a Blast Runner. Let's go for Glinhawk. Pick up the Synthesizer. I'm going to be sad if I ha find a Tithing Blade here. What did I find? Oh, Novice Inspector. Okay, good. Play that. Let's draw a card. Play this on black, and I'll pass. We're at 14. They have three cards in hand. Feels solid at the moment. We'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. We did get rid of a burn spell, but I just feel like we can flood the board a little bit. And we do have the makeshift munitions to ping down their creatures. Because we can sacrifice the clue token or the novice inspector or whatever. If they attack, they don't attack. Play the synth. This thing is just getting us so much value. This is where the deck really goes off. We have the synthesizer. Enters the battlefield. We get what? Is he trying to interrupt you for something? I think sometimes people just play a little slowly. No big deal. Find a basil escape. So there's our win condition. They scoop the match. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah okay let's go okay we're in round two for spartano we're on the play wow this hand is really good so let's keep it because we can cliff gate on black play the tithing blade on turn two if we want to or we could just synthesize our on turn two those are lightning bolt lined up wow okay black spartano gives us a good luck have fun good luck have fun thank you very much let's see if they're on Oh, it's uh, they probably don't have a turn one play. I'm just gonna jam the synthesizer, see if we find a land or a white find a Glenhawk. All right, uh, we can Glenhawk back the synthesizer and lose a card. Well, that's probably fine. I mean, we do lose a card here. I'm losing on value. Let's see what we got got rid of. They bolt us, they bolt the Glenhawk. Okay, that's oh, what did we lose? Of course, Guy Fisher is a barbed batter fist, so they're also on a Borosi deck. We can Tithing Blade it and then pick up the Tithing Blade with the Glenhawk or just Tithing Blade. All right, let's just Tithing Blade here. Pull that. And then cliff gate on white. I think it's better to push the advantage with the synthesizer, and not worry about the uh, tithing blade at the moment. Synthesizer enters the battlefield. Find a core skyfisher. We can skyfisher back tithing blade now, but that's really good. It's a very cool removal spell. I yeah, picked that one up. Yeah, it's really sweet. Play this novice inspector. So we're on the board. They're not on the board. We have the choice to choose card advantage with the Glenhawk with synthesizer or removal spells. They play a synthesizer, finding a planes so they can play a creature, but it'll just get eaten right away. Novice Inspector, sure. What are they going to do with it? Kills my Skyfisher. I think we just keep eating their stuff. Play this on if red, red, white, white. I'll go red. And I think I'm going to Tithing Blade. Pick up the Tithing Blade with the Glenhawk and then attack for one, leaving open the Lightning Bolt. Next turn, I can synthesize her for value. We still have made every land drop, and we're on the board. That is pretty sweet. Super cool. There's a Glenhawk. And we probably want to try to not use our bolts and stuff because we want to get the value. What do they pick up? The Batterfest? Well, I guess we have to bolt one of these. Okay, bolt that. Glenhawk is dead. Let's go Synthesizer. Spectre. Okay, Inspector. Blade you. A Tithing Blade. And then we have white. Two three so this i think is going to be on white and red we'll go ahead and attack and we still have two clues and two synthesizers here we did miss on this course guy fisher though sad times what do you got course guy fisher <clears throat> they can pick up the barbed batter fist and try to deal with the tithing blade they pick up the synthesizer and find a planes plays the planes you have the, all the glitters right now synthesizer finding a glenhawk plays a glenhawk finds a wedding invitation picking up the synthesizer but right now they're head on cards but i think we're ahead on board let's draw a card there you go I'm going to Synthesizer or Glenhawk. I mean, I could pick up the Tithing Blade, but I think I just need cards. Pick up the Synthesizer. Like, a, this is just so many cards. Uh, okay. We find a Cliff Gate. Play a Synthesizer. Citadel Gate. So this is white. Get this on white. And then let's draw a card. Probably should have tapped out, but 
fine. One, two, three, four, five artifacts in play. They play a Thraven Inspector. So now the Tithing Blades are not very useful. Plays a Wind's Guard Crag. All the Glitters on the Glenhawk. This is another All the Glitters. Jeez. All right. I think we're probably going to lose here. Find a Galvanic Blast. Play Synthesizer. If we find a Tithing Blade or way to pick it up, we can kill the Thraven Inspector and then Tithing Blade their creature. Elvis Inspector. Draw a card. Play the Lembus. All right, we're dead, I think. So I don't know if the Tithing Blade is good or not in this matchup. I do think I want the Standard Bearer, I guess. And the Gorilla Shaman. These things. Next Ship Munitions, an Endgame card. I want the Clerics. Maybe the Omen of the Dead's not that good. And then Lembus is a little bit slow. I guess if I'm replacing it with the Clerics, then I don't necessarily need it. But then I don't have that much stuff to pick up. All right, let's just do it like this way. I don't, I'm not sure if that's exactly correct. It looks pretty good. Cleric definitely would have helped you with the glitters. I wish the Tithing Blade were more effective there, but they're they're going wide, so it's not super effective. All right, we're on the play. Just the entire format is just Boros, Boros glittery stuff. <laughs> Boros stuff. Let's keep this. I guess we can put this on black. No, we don't have any black cards left. Play Mountain. I can go Thraven Inspector, kill the Ginger Brute. Play the Thraven and make a clue. And pass the turn. So if they want to suit this up, make an unblock block, I'll just ping it off. They play Grand Furnace, which I can be able to kill. Let's shoot that. All right, here's a Gorilla Shaman. Blow up your land, and then I'll play a Novice Inspector. In two turns, once I have five lands, I can play the Barbed Batterfist, or kill the Barbed Batterfist with a Gorilla Shaman. They could just kill the Gorilla Shaman here as well. They do have to use the removal on it. Maybe I should just, maybe I was greedy there. They pick up the Barbed Batterfist. They're behind in the land count because of, Let's draw because a card. of the Gorilla Shaman. Play a Standard Bearer. I can start slamming in with my Novice Inspector for... Three damage. It's not that much. Play a batter fist. Send for two. Play a synthesizer. Looking for lands. On a citadel gate. I think I took all my black cards out, right? So this is a Glenhawk back the synthesizer right now. I think I'm gonna do it. Me find a Galvanic. That was probably the wrong thing to shoot. They got a 17. I probably should have taken out the Glenhawk. I could have just blocked a synthesizer, and they're gonna pick up Great Furnace. Plays a Great Furnace out. Plays a course Skyfisher, which we can bolt as a novice inspector. I think I want to try to get in with my flyer. All right, no blocks. Let's synthesizer, looking for a land, find a Lembus. So now my uh, plan of going for the Basilisk Gate is not what I want. I'm going to bottom the standard bear, another synthesizer, finding a land. I guess I pass, and then I'm going to block the Glenhawk this time and then bolt the other one. I'm not sure if that's correct. Plays so a synthesizer. Everybody's doing it. Find a core Skyfisher. How much value? The value mirror. What do they get? Another Skyfisher. So they're out on one Skyfisher at least. Makes their creature unblockable. All right, I'm going to bolt this. Find a Skyfisher. Uh, well, let's pick up the Synthesizer then. Another Inspector. Get the Inspector. And then I'm going to gate my Standard Bearer. They're at 13. Probably need to kill the Ginger Brute so that I don't randomly die to an unblockable. They can kill my uh, Standard Bearer and place uh, the All the Glitters. Wedding Invitation. So their creature will be unblockable either way. Need to look for a Bolt to hold up now. They're at 13. We're at 14. 3 mana. They're going to crack the Synthesizer. They're going to play Dust to Dust. Okay. That's weird. We find a Thraven Inspector. That gets exiled. Really did not expect that. Kill your... Skyfisher. I think it's going to be the Skyfisher, yeah. Limbus and I'm scrying, looking for a land. A Skyfisher. So I want that. I don't have anything else to do. So I can, like, Skyfisher back a land, play a Novice Inspector. Or I can pick up the Limbus. So I'll pick up the Limbus. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right now, they can attack for a very large amount. Play Glenhawk. I think the thing is, I don't really know how to approach sequencing in this matchup right now. They're going to probably pick up the Synthesizer. Find a Novice Inspector. They replay the Synthesizer. Finding Galvanic. They can take out the Standard Bearer now. But they'd have to have all the Glitters in hand. So then from there, we need to start looking for a removal spell as well. Oh, they have a Galvanic and... Plays Novice Inspector. Galvanic's still in exile. Ginger Brute's unblockable. They get in for one. They don't have Glitters right now. I wonder if they removed it. They're probably going to take up my, one of my Flyers. Yep. So I have to leave my flyer back. Let's start on Lembus. I'll bottom the land. Put this gate on white. A novice inspector. Send six. I imagine they block. I think next turn we have to spend a bunch of mana drawing cards and hope that they don't have it right now. Lembus for the opponent. They went top. That's not good. Finds another Lembus. Interesting. They went bottom. Okay. One, two, three, four. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. If he has glitters. It would be 12. 14 damage creature. So they sacrificed this and now we're dead. On to round three. Okay, round three. We're on the play. Oh man, we have no mulligans. We're going to, I'm sorry, we have no lands. We're going to mulligan. <laughs> okay, mulligan again. We only have one land. I guess we're on the gate plan here. They're on seven. Put back Galvanic, Ancient Den. Play this on white. 
see what happens. Put this one on black, I guess, and then play Thrave Inspector turn two. Okay, they appear to be on dredge or not dredge, it would be gardens of black. Play Thrave Inspector. If it's gardens, I want to just slam in, I think, on turn three for four <laughs> damage. Maybe that's not a good use of my time. Maybe it's just ch get chip damage in. I would be surprised to see this player on dredge. Okay, it's gardens. Almost 100%. So this is the black based control deck, splashing green for Avenging Hunter. Got my synthesizer, man. Not the synthesizer, man. Okay, let's <laughs> play the Novice Inspector. Draw a card. So, I mean, we have a clock. Because next turn, we can play a Cliff Gate and tech for five, assuming they don't have a removal spell. Call any garden from the opponent. Are we going to want to slot in Graveyard Hate? I don't think so. I'm going to gate up my creature and attack. They might have a removal spell, or they might just deadly dispute their plant. We'll see what happens. We have a Galvanic, so that's four damage, assuming we can make enough uh, artifacts. They deadly dispute the plant. Plays a land, so they could be on Avenging Hunter here. Plays Drown in Sorrow. Get rid of both my creatures. Could be a bad matchup for me. Um, Basilisk Gate we can use for mana here. Play the Limbus. Definitely want the Glenhawk. Play this on red. My Cliff Gates, I, I put too many Cliff Gates on black here. They should have been on white. Thorn of the Black Rose for the opponent. Okay, we have a Tithing Blade to so get rid of your Thorn. Then we can Glenhawk, pick up the Lembus, then go Lembus. And we can also craft the Tithing Blade to start draining them. Play another Glenhawk, pick up the Lembus. That was a good turn. Just doing stuff. They have another Drown, they have a Crypt Rats. We crack the Rats. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 mana. we 16. I want to craft the Tithing Blade, but I also want to find Untap Land or a creature. Glenhawk again. Glenhawk? <laughs> okay. Yep, pick up the Lembus again. Play the Lembus. <laughs> Looking for synthesizers and hawks and stuff. I'm going to bottom the land at this point. Play this on red. If we can get in with the hawk that's gated, then they will be pretty dead. They have a Lembus. Another Lembus. So this is 7 damage plus 8 damage, which is only 15. And they can get plus 3 here. Cast out my creature. Dang. Okay. Right, we have a Tithing Blade. Go black. We're gonna sec get rid of this novice inspector. Now we have ten damage. I was surprised by that duress that's on it. I'm gonna crack the Lembus. Six mana for a troll. There's no reason to crack the Lembus here. Let's see what happens on our turn. They're just drawing so much off the monarch. Unreasonable. <laughs> so that goes back into the deck. How do we beat this deck? Removal piles are uh, definitely tough. And Avenging Hunter. I mean, I'll see what I get, but I feel like I'm gonna die now. They have double. They have double emblem. I don't see any way for me to beat this one two you can get an artifact you can galvanic i can galvanic this and then stay alive maybe a turn what i really need is synthesizer into a chain all right i'm gonna concede they have a huge creature i guess uh makeshift munitions is a way to win but we definitely want to keep the makeshift munitions eventually i don't think any of the cards in my library in my uh sideboard do anything so i'm gonna resubmit them taking the synthesizer just bricked me and you can really see how this deck relies on the synthesizer a lot pretty nuts okay we're on the play we need to start fast all right hopefully they don't arrest me i guess let's keep we'll put this on uh black that's the turn put this one on white play the three inspector i almost want to just flash like play the omen of the dead to get it onto the battlefield that's probably wrong. Raven Inspector. We got, here comes the beats. They pass the turn. Put this one on white. We'll attack you. So I can draw a card right now, or I can synthesize her and then whiff for the Skyfisher, pick up the Raven Inspector. They cycle a troll. I'd find a one drop. Yeah, it just didn't seem like the right turn for the synth. Tithing Blade, my creature. Now I can Omen of the Dead, my creature back. Let's play out a synthesizer. The Basilisk Gate. Play Omen of the Dead. Pick up my Skyfisher. Play out my Skyfisher. I'll pick up my Omen of the Dead. I guess it's fine to like Omen of the Dead back the Skyfisher because that's sort of like drawing a card. We drew the Skyfisher versus very cool. the uh, synthesizer. They have four mana. Play this gate. Citadel Gate. So it's a. Uh, you want to use a removal spell? I'll just get it back again. You're going to take seven. Okay. Nope. Okay. They deadly dispute their thing. Back for seven. They take the seven. They're afraid of the Omen of the Dead. Play a Thraven Inspector. They must not have duress in their hand. The fanatical offering uh, their treasure token, draw two cards. They're at nine cards in hand. Eight cards now. They find the duress for the Omen of the Dead. That times for me. So I think I want to just gate the Thraven Inspector, but I'm going to gate the Skyfisher. Well, they have a Spinning Darkness in response, so it didn't work out. They'll attack you. We have a lot of cards we can draw. We're going to play another removal spell. Play a Thraven Inspe or a Novice Inspector. Inspecting all day. And I'll pass the turn. We do have Metalcraft. They're effectively at seven. They defile the Thraven Inspector. Here comes a stupid Avenging Hunter. Play a land. We're going to map on the plant. And a Limbus. I should have uh, shot that, but the Limbus is just on top of their deck anyway, I guess. Play my own Limbus. I'm mistapping with my gates over here. Um bottom i'm looking for creatures and this pop this pick up the synthesizer play a novice inspector so now they can forge on their plant token making a three four they only have four cards in hand though 
We can kill the novice inspector, or the plant token with the galvanic. We'd be really screwed to a drown in sorrow or a crypt rats. They're going for the scry too. Top bottom, they play a limbus. They get to scry again. They go top again. They only have four mana available. They're looking for two removal spells. Hiding blade, that's one. I'll sacrifice my novice inspector. Oh, this must be an act of de desperation here. The fanatical offering. Finding a map token. You get the map token. They have a swamp. They might have a defile. What is fanatical offering? Find an avenging hunter on top. Fanatical offering is like a deadly dispute. But it leaves behind a map instead of a treasure token. So this novice inspector. And then I'm going to gate on my creature. Um, that doesn't make sense. I should just uh play the synthesizer. Synthesizer. Hiding blade you. Having some lag from Magic Online over here. Our creature's dead. So now we take the initiative. It means we get to get a basic. We you try another card. Play a land. I think I'm not gonna draw the card right now. That way, like if they duress me, I have something to do. They play crypt rats. You can galvanic in response, right? Well, I can galvanic them, but I can't do anything with my creatures they'll die to it so let's draw a card i'm looking to burn them out here uh we're going to on the glenhawk but then they have to crack the rat then you're going to sky fisher i'm going to sky fisher back the synthesizer we have double sky fisher or double galvanic by the sky fisher bolt would win the game pick up the synthesizer and a three-man inspector let's play the synthesizer again we don't have it enough doesn't. we do have enough right lightning bolts play the three-man inspector i'm a little bit nervous about weather the storm here so i'm going to try to hold out okay Hopefully they cast it. They're just going to go for Deadly Disputes. So they're going to go to... I just don't have the right amount of red mana here. All right, they go to 10. We have so many cards sitting on the table, though. Play Crypt Rats. Crypt Rats is going to kill them. It's got to do at least three. That brings them to seven. Let's uh go ahead and go face here. They're at six. Okay, okay. Somehow we got there. Uh, No changes. <laughs> I said the Omen of the Dead was like really good, but unfortunately got to rest. Kind of what I expected to have happen. That's okay. Yeah. All right, here we go. We have Omen of the Dead again, which is medium. We definitely have to put this cliff gate on black on white. They play a colony garden. I suppose we can just go Inspector turn one, and then Inspector turn two, and uh, do stuff turn three. Just start doing stuff ASAP. They Lembus play another Inspector cliff gate on black. We only really need one black pip, I think. Everything else should just be. Uh, red white probably the boros splash black deck so he pajuka bogged now i think that probably Jeez. means that he just didn't have anything going on yeah on white so we can play the three minute specter and miss on damage maybe it's fine because we end up uh having the galvanic and we also have the omen of the dead that we can cast so if they go for a sweeper we can omen of the dead our creature back if they play a thorn in the black rose we can galvanic this, this is a red land round in sorrow okay so their creatures die too and we will get it back creature back pick back that inspector back the Thraven. Play an inspector. The inspectors are just slamming down. Play another mm. inspector. Oops. Uh lag. Okay, inspector coming down. Lift gate on white. And your turn. So they cannot play the Avenging Hunter this turn. We can just Galvanic and attack. Another Drown in Sorrow. All right. And Basilisk Gate. Let's cast the Lembus. I think I'm going to bottom this land for now. Let's draw a card. Play this on white. So I guess if they're on the initiative, I mean, I can deal with their creature and then play my own creatures out and hopefully just like blood past them. Um, Because the Monarch is the scary thing where they're drawing real cards. They land... Play Limbus, looking for a Tiding Blade, or I really want more creatures. Munitions. I think I'm bottoming that. Synthesizer. The synthesizer here. Lightning Bolt. But Bolt's going to go face, and this one's going to go on the Avenging Hunter. And we'll play a Novice Inspector. And then next turn, we can draw a bunch of cards. And they have a removal spell. As long as they don't get the Monarch, I feel like we can maybe crawl through. They're just going to scry too. I don't know how they scryed. Looks like they have a Thorn. That's... Dinky. Then they're going to gain life. No, Deadly Dispute the Lemus. They're very ahead. Uh, we can kill the Thorn at least. Mm -hmm. Let's draw a card and a Synthesizer. I want a creature. Find a Great Furnace. Play the land. I'm going to pass the turn. Yeah, I think passing the turn is fine. I think they might just Deadly Dispute. I was nervous that they might just the dispute ball. their Thorn or something. Yeah, a big old troll. Looking for... This is nine damage. Draw a card again. It's going to be a... Seven some odd. Or even an eight if you put the This is gonna go on white. I mean I can go bolt, bolt, bolt and attack for two and then play a Thraven Inspector. Deadly dispute. They'd have to whiff pretty hard, but if they do whiff, then we will probably win. I'm just gonna see what happens here. Come on, Night Token, you can do it. No. We still have a creature. They go into catacombs, so they get a four one black skeleton creature token with menace. And this is gonna be basically impossible for us to come back from. Plays a Lembus. I mean we could make a giant inspector and attack and kill their creature, but then the next turn they get a giant creature again. From the thorn from the throne plays a fanger marauder let's draw a card i mean i don't think the life gain is the thing that's causing them to win or lose this game i think it's the monarchy and stuff so i think that the bringing the marauder is kind of a mistake i don't know what they took out though 
We have a Galvanic. Let's draw another card. See if I can Tithing Blade. Tithing Blade, I, and I can attack. I kill that and Tithing Blade. We just still haven't drawn one. We're pretty far through the deck. And then my secondary plan is to kill the Skeleton. All right. Galvanic this. Start picking up. Then I'm pieces. going to Basilisk Gate the Thraven Inspector and attack. Then I'll Glenhawk back the Lembus. Because now this is more than strong enough to attack. Okay, it's dead. And it's uh, also lagging, I guess, as well. Pick up a Lembus and pass the turn. So what do they hit off the throne? They reveal Avenging Hunter, Troll, Crypt Rats. Yeah, they just get the Crypt Rats and then that is the game. Because they can wipe everything we play from now on. So let's just go ahead and scoop it up. All right, we're right. In round four, we have to mulligan. Maybe a double basilisk gate hand. Doesn't make black. And we are keeping this. But we have to play this on white and then probably play the Lembus. Yeah, we need to see how much we can get done with this Tithing Blade against this deck. This is the same Boros that we saw before. Play this on white. Could also consider just like trying to jam in. And let's see, we can attempt to hold up removal this time and see if they wreck us. Uh, Bajukabog, huh? So it's a different type of boros deck or clan shaman so this is probably more like a value boros white play novice inspector the great furnace or could play the basilisk gate but i think the great furnace is better at the moment that's the turn they can just wipe at some point my ground pounders my little guys as a cleansing wildfire so this is probably mardu actually so this is gonna be a mardu mirror drop yourselves in <laughs> <laughs> play this gate, play a Lembus. Uh, I'll top that one so I can get black. Play this Thraven and swing for one. So I have to outvalue a cleansing wildfire deck. It's going to be tough. I can also wildfire in my Basilisk gate, and I only have two basics. We're going to Tithing Blade, one of my Thravens. Probably play a Core Skyfisher. So I must probably want to go on the Tithing Blade plan two then, huh? Let's bolt your Core Skyfisher. Play this on black and attack you for one. I mean, I want to pick up the Synthesizer and get ahead that way now. A wildfire. So I think I lead on Synth before I could Tithing Blade and attack. <laughs> All right, so play the Synthesizer and see what's up. Novice Inspector, play an Inspector, and I'll Tithing Blade you right back, huh? Play the Great Furnace, pass a turn. But my creatures can get big with this thing. What are you going to do? They play Synthesizer, that's pretty good. It's a good response. Glenhawk, okay. They can Glenhawk the Synthesizer or the Tithing Blade. Let's see what they want to do. If they Synthesizer, then I will Synthesizer. If they Glenhawk, if they Tithing Blade, I will Tithing Blade. I'm going to stay at parity. <laughs> okay, they're Synthesizering, yeah. finding a Galvanic. Galvanic, my creature. I think I want to Tithing Blade their creature and just get on the board still. That would be... Five mana. Play synthesizer, finding a Lembus. Plays the Lembus. They don't novice kill the novice inspector here. Seems like a leak. Let's see what they do. Like four damage face isn't really that useful. I think you just need to be on the board. They go face. Uh, land guy fisher and pick up the tithing blade and play it and then play a uh, raven so now our basilisk gate is plus three for three total mana. We have six lands. All right, they play a synthesizer. I think they were on the play. Is that my sixth turn? Yeah, it was. Okay, so we're still doing good on land drops. Four mana, five mana. Is this going to be an initiative creature? Oh, they flipped the Tithing Blade. Um, okay. Let's go for Course Guy Fisher. Pick up the Synthesizer. And Novice Okay, so we find a Novice Inspector. We can play a Synthesizer here. Uh, I can go Munitions for the Inspector. I mean, one life a turn is not that much. It might add up. Tapping for black. They have the Omen of the Dead. Crack a Limbus. Okay. I mean, I have a Limbus too. They go to 16. Then they're going to go to 17. We go to 14. Considering all of their options, looks like they're going to play a Tiding Blade. They get rid of one of my creatures. They have four cards in hand. Or a Clan Shaman. They probably should have done that first. That could have allowed them to Tithing Blade a Skyfisher. Plays a makeshift munitions of their own. And go ahead and hang the Skyfisher or the Carclan Shaman. A deadly dispute. Let's gate a Skyfisher here. Pack for a lot. Okay, they, they just take it. They have a cast down. I think I crack here in case I find F6 through their turn and see what they do. They're going to crack a Synthesizer. Make a creature. But right now they're at 14. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We could throw a clue token at them. I don't know if it's worth it. Okay, so they are going to Tithing Blade away a Novice Inspector. Galvanic. So I'll throw that guy at your face. They play a land. That's it for them. They can kill my my inspector next turn we have a lot of gates right now uh one two gate this and we can take out their thing Gate it again so we'll makeshift munitions sacrificing the tithing blade and makeshift munitions sacrificing a clue attack for nine then they'll be dead next turn but we have to deal them five damage that was a good turn yeah it's uh kind of where the late game power of the basilisk gate is shown they synthesizer so if they find a lembus they could go to eight now we're at 12 all right that's 
plus good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we can deal them eight right now. I guess we can do that in response. So they have to crack the Lemus right now. If they pass to our turn without cracking the Lemus, I think they're just dead. The makeshift munitions on the Thraven. Sacrifices. Sacrifice the Lemus to go up to eight. All right. Let's Glenhawk the Skyfa. Glenhawk, pick up the synthesizer. We're looking for a burn spell. Find a Thraven. Play the synthesizer again. Get a lightning bolt. So base one two three four five okay and then we can sacrifice some stuff so shoot you sacrifice this let's just put all these triggers on the stack all right we win the game all right yes. finally we're back in the game we're starting to win again maybe maybe all right um they had a lot of bridges but not a lot of untapped stuff armor cleric can take out their i don't know i feel like we're fine i don't know if i want the dawnbringer clerics at all just for the munitions all right Let's keep this hand. Got the gates going on. I don't really have a good turn two play, unfortunately. This is gonna be on red. Gonna be on white, most likely. Play like Rustvale Bridge. Play this gate out on red. And we have multiple synthesizers. Might as well just like play the synth, see if we find a land. So somebody was asking me, should I ever play the synth on turn two and lose value? I feel like it's probably okay. Just depending on what the rest of your hand looks like. And like, are you gonna get any value otherwise by just passing? So they, they cleansing wildfire, finding a swamp. Let's synthesizer and see what happens. Miss out on a Thraven. I really need to get the lands anyway. Synthesizer again for the opponent, or just for the first time, I guess. They find a Tithing Blade. I'm just going to cast it. I'm going to get a creature on the table here. Linhawk's going to pick up. Is that a waste to have the Tithing Blade right now? For them, I don't think so, because they can... Um, we're going to Lemus here. They can just pick it up with their Hawks and stuff. I'll put that on top, and they go. So now we have like the Tithing Blade Linhawk thing. Skyfisher back the Tithing Blade. But they're going to Glenhawk back the Tithing Blade here and then play it. And then we'll go Tithing Blade, pick it back up. It's kind of a weird attrition battle. Oh, they pick up the Synthesizer. Interesting. They're going to kill my creature with a Lightning Bolt. Oh, are you Galvanic Face. Not understanding what's going on. Tithing Blade. That makes sense now. Okay. So we'll use all our mana. Weird, weird mirror. It is. It's like you versus evil you. <laughs> Just two versions of one one uh, card. Pick up the yeah. Tithing Blade here. They go face. Interesting. I guess they're going for the flip the Tithing Blade plan. Plays a Synthesizer. Finding a cast down. Kills the Gorse Sky Fisher, but we can Gorse Sky Fisher it back. And get it back with the Omen of the Dead. Unless they duress me. They play an Omen of the Dead for their Glenhawk. Back to Glenhawk. What are you going to pick up the Tithing Blade again? With the Synthesizer. Pick up the Tithing Blade. I'm going to play the land. I'm going to play the Synthesizer and see what i can find just tithing blade them and then wreck my limbus i would have liked to have that uh other gate in play for sure they can take the omen of the dead here which is a, a brutal play for me i would have liked to get this guy fisher back they flip the tithing blade they think better of it i mean look at the it's clock here. At, at some point i mean our opponent's gonna time out if they go to game three find a bridge with the synthesizer there's a land all right we find a synthesizer tithing blade okay and the tithing blade play another synthesizer or er, course guy fisher got my tithing blade none of us are gonna have creatures after a while <laughs> We're trying to get in before they finally find their uh or skyfisher to get like to actually pick back up all the core sky fishers over and over and over. The tithing blade, my core sky fisher. Flip a tithing blade. Do I flip my tithing blade too? I'll play a synthesizer first. So let's crack a synthesizer. Seven to I think I'm just going to ignore this lightning bolt and crack a synthesizer. Play this on this is a red land, right? Uh it have to be red, I guess. We're trying to force through and use the gates to close. Play a Wellspring. Three cards in hand. We have seven damage right now, but they're at 21. We could flip our own Tithing Blade and then, like, stem the tide. Um, yeah, maybe. Play Novice Inspector first. I'll draw a card. It's on black. And then gate this creature. Will we be able to get in? Seven damage. Another cast down. Okay. I mean, we're trying. Every creature's a threat. A big threat. I don't want to have to flip the Tithing Blade. It's kind of annoying. We're, it's a 13 clock. 13 turn clock right now. A Synthesizer. Finding makeshift munitions. Okay, that's, uh, are you going to take out my novice inspector? Is it Glenhawk? Oros mirrors, oh my goodness. <laughs> pick up the tithing blade and play the tithing blade. One, two, three. All right, I think I'm going to crack another synthesizer. Or Sky Fisher is good. And I can pick up the synthesizer. If I find untapped land, okay, I can't do anything. <laughs> I was thinking I could uh, Tithing Blade them here. Obviously, I cannot. On our own makeshift munitions. Right now, they have three, four, five, six, seven, eight things that they can sacrifice. But they kind of have to go over my, after my creatures. I'm pressuring them pretty decently. Mm -mm. Okay, so they pick up a Synthesizer here. That's a surprise. They replay it, play Bridge. They're going for lethal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. I think I have to flip my Tithing Blade. They pick up another Core Sky Fisher. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You don't Tithing Blade. Where's your creature? Where's your other creature? Deadly Dispute. Where's your other creature? I think they... One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine. I think they have lethal. I'm not sure. So now I'm gonna just in my synth and see if I find a land. This on red. Power up my Thraven. If they want to use the treasures to ping down the makeshift munitions with the Thraven with other things, then that's like probably good for me because they're wasting a lot of mana and a lot of things that they can attack with. But they think better of it. They take a large amount. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine that we can sacrifice. We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You have nine mana. Are you going to start out with Synthesizer? They're omening, omen of the deading back there, Skyfisher. What is that going to do for them? Plays a Synthesizer. Finds a Wildfire so they could take out my bridge, my Basilisk Gate. There's no way that they can finish this match in time. Go ahead and grab a Red Land. They have seven mana available. I knew it would be grindy. Synthesizer finds a bridge. They have six mana available. Or Skyfisher. They pick up Tithing Blade. Play the Tithing Blade. Bring my creature. So we no longer have... Okay, we have a Tithing Blade. So what does that do for me? Wait... I think blade you. You attack for four, put them to nine. One, two, three, four, five. I guess we synthesizer here. Inspector. Two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think not picking up, not not flipping my tithing blade is gonna kill me. Because I think they have enough to deal with ten here, but it'll eat a lot of their clock. The Lembus on top and swing out. So much counting. So we go to ten. Right now they have two plus the four, five, six. They have plenty of mana. They can deal me 10 damage. Just have to accomplish the fact. And given that they're already on six minutes and 20 seconds, we're just gonna hang out and let them do it. So, uh, <laughs> let's see how long it takes. They reveal an arms of Adar after sacrificing the synthesizer, so we know that they're gonna try to play a sweeper. I guess, like, post-board, well, after this game, I realized that I should have tried to flip the Tithing Blade. I just was so behind on mana. I didn't feel like I had enough mana available to start trying to do that. He's never gonna do it in five minutes. <laughs> no, probably not. In I'll just take out the munitions, bring in a cleric, one Lemus. I'm not sure if that's good or not. Okay, so got Inspectorinos. Play this on white. Turn one, turn two Inspector. And we can play the Cliff Gate on black, or this Black Dragon Gate on white. Play this Novice Inspector. We can attack with the Novice Inspector, play the Cliff Gate next turn, and pick up the Novice Inspector with the Skyfisher. Or we can go Skyfisher it back. First thing I'm going to do is attack. There's a chance that they... No, they're going to wildfire. Well, they would have done that on their turn. We're going to pick up the Novice Inspector, play the Ancient Den, play the Novice Inspector again. We have seven damage in hand. They play a Lembus. They're tapped out. We No, they're not tapped out. I guess I'm just going to draw a card. Finding a Synthesizer. Let's play this Cliff Gate on white and attack you. We only have two artifacts right now. They have a Glenhawk. Picking up the Lembus. We play the Lembus. If you have a tap land, I can slam in with my Basilisk Gated creature. They just scoop it up. Yeah, they didn't have enough time. Nowhere near enough. Go to round five. Yeah. Two and two. Round five versus Slim Skittle on the play. Kind of wonky. We have too much black in hand, but we can deal. We can use it. And a lot of, you know, we can just put this on black. Go for Lembus. Let's just see what happens. We probably Lembus on turn two, actually, just to uh, get the lands flowing. What are you up to, Skittle? Play Mountain. Blast Runner. Okay, that changes the go. land. Good thing I said black where that uh, land, huh? Mm -hmm. We're starting and ending with uh, Mono Red. Let's see if we can 1-0 oh. them again. That would be awesome. Hiding Blade or Blast Runner. They could play another one drop, and I'll just Hiding Blade it again. Play Synthesizer. Finding an Implement. So they'll probably play the Implement here. I guess I want to play the Novice Inspector. Let's lend this. Deciding things and then taking that back immediately. Uh, another Thraven's probably good. But oh, we need lands. I'm going to bottom. Found a Thraven anyway. I did bottom it. Yeah. Thoughtseize Bug. So they'll okay, they play an Epicure. I think I just want to put two novice inspectors on the table, or two inspectors on the table. They don't do anything. Okay, so that means makeshift munitions. All right, I'm going to Lembus looking for a land. Okay, here's an inspector. So they have to waste a removal spell on the inspector, otherwise their their epicure is just straight up bricked. And then I think I can spend next turn, like, gaining life and playing another inspector. I think they are trying to go for the um, bushwhacker turn here. We'll do the rebirth. There's the bushwhacker. So we'll block, play Thraven Inspector, draw a card. Or, and then gain three life with the Lembus. Our opponent does not know that you can right click attack all. So everyone should know that you can right click and attack all. You don't have to click every creature. Don't waste your time. Land two one mana creatures to brick you. Play another one mana creature. I'm going to pick up the, I guess the, I want to sacrifice the Lembus probably anyway. And I'd rather not have to pay four mana to get there. I can just draw mm -hmm. cards with a clue token. So there's lots of stuff to do anyway right now. Okay, they 
fire the implement at me, but I mean it's a nine. And obviously post board, I think blade's not great, so we're probably just gonna swap in all Dawnbringer clerics. Got a chain lightning face, put me to four here. I could be dead, put me to three. This puts me to one, and my creatures don't die. If I had a fire blast, I was already dead anyway. If you have a fire blast, just fire blast. Okay, whatever, man. I was tapped out. What are you gonna do? Do to do. I think blade's not good. I'm not even sure if Omen of the Dead is good here. Maybe bring in the gorilla shamans or blockers. Let's put. So we took out all of our black spells, so everything is uh, white red now. Citadel gate on, they lead on an epicure, a novice inspector, the cliff gate on white. I suppose we could gorilla shaman and kill their blood token. I could have done that that turn, but having the novice inspector is just a regular blocker is probably pretty good. A synthesizer finding a mountain. Look at cold deal with the rebirth. Nope. Goblin tomb raider. X for two. Okay. Tom raider cleric. We can bolt the uh, darn tomb raider guy. And we, we kind of brick the tomb raider anyway, so maybe we just think about the bolt later. To bolt right now. It's not like they can sacrifice or anything. Next turn we can limbus plus uh, racket for life gain. Um, we could also play the Gorilla Shaman and eat their Synthesizer. They have another Tomb Raider. I was just playing dirty. <laughs> if all the two mana, two, one mana, two twos, take out one of them. I'm going to go to 17. I think I'm going to go after their Synthesizer this turn. Let the Gorilla Shaman kill the Synthesizer. That way they can't get value. Next turn we can go after the Blood Token as well. All right, we got rid of a Bushwhacker. That's pretty big. I don't want to jump with the Gorilla Shaman until I can kill this Blood Token. Play Blast Runner. Get in for two. We go to 15. This is going to allow them to draw a card. Play the Citadel Gate. That on red. And then blow up this. So they can't sacrifice it to make the Blast Runner bigger. But they do go to five cards in hand on their turn. Lightning Bolt on the Gorilla Shaman. There's an Epicure. Another two damage. Try to Sweeper. I'm going to play this Lembus. I'm going to respond to the trigger by cracking it. Gain three life, draw a card. And then that goes back into the deck. I think I'm going to pop this and play another Lembus. So they can attack for five, basically, un that I can't really block. If they attack out, then it's going to be maybe six damage. I have another implement that I can crack. I guess going after the implement wasn't very good for me. Will they swing out just for the five? Okay. Synthesizer. Find Thraben. Play the Thraben. Play another Thraben, or I can just play this Corsai Fisher, pick up the Synthesizer, and land. That's really that's really what I was looking for there. So now we can play this Thraben and gain some life. All right, nice. We're at 12. We got a big board now. So we can afford to like to block their creatures at this point. That was a huge turn, actually. Hard to get excited about uh, Sky Fishers and Thravens, but look at all the stuff we put into play. <laughs> opponent's like the tables have turned I, I noticed he doesn't have land yeah, he's got five actions and five really good cards now four cards in hand that are good looks like it's bushwhacker time and wipe my board huh telegraph does it get so these two things are gonna eat that nine or eleven damage eight nine ten eleven go to one <laughs> what do you want to bet that he has another fire blast in hand not this time i guess a synthesizer we need life gain. He's just gonna fire blast me right now. Now the burn is played. Crack this. Put another creature on the table. So the only thing that we can do to save us at this point is draw a cleric. Did not find a cleric. Lembus too late. Lunk city over here. Unfortunate. Lembus on top. All right, GG. They got me with the uh, the game one. It didn't work out for us. Game <laughs> game two kind of overwhelmed us. We ended up two and three. I feel like this deck is probably better than that. Um, I'm not sure if there's a sequencing or a sideboarding issue. There's my storm deck. But the deck, I felt like it just uh, didn't really do enough fast enough. And maybe it just needs a slower metagame. Like facing terror and stuff might be better. Or like a control deck. But obviously we got... We, we lost in the mirror to the Boros players. Because they could one-shot us faster than us. We beat the one burn player and the other uh, Mardu player. So that kind of felt good. Got some value. I'm not going to complain. I like this deck. I think we... Y y you play the mirror too often. I mean, the format is all about eight inspectors now. Kind of is what it is. Yeah. It's a nice yeah. little package for white. So white midrange is back. And if you want to beat it, maybe play Poison Storm. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks everybody for watching and we'll see you in the next video.